Good day to everyone. I'm Arnel Batalia and I'm honored to be a part of this Division Basic Education Research Conference 6.0 and I would like to thank our SDS, Madam Rachel, our ESDS, Madam Julie, and of course, Sir Romel for the opportunity to present my research. These are my legal basis in conducting my research, Education for All, Republic Act 10533 on Enhanced Basic Education Act of 2013. The DepEd is committed to ensure unhampered delivery of basic education services to its learners and the community. DepEd Order Number 12, Series of 2020, Adoption of the Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan, BELCP, in the light of COVID-19 Public Health Emergency, DepEd shall employ multiple learning delivery modalities to ensure the continued provision of learning opportunities to its learners while protecting the health and safety of both its personnel and learners. Recently enacted Republic Act Number no. 11494, otherwise known as the Bayanihan, to recover as one act. And with that, I came up with a title, Extent of Implementation of Modular Distance Learning and Performance of Grade 6 Learners in the New Normal in Kayapa West District Towards Curriculum Strategic Directions. This study sought answer to the following questions. What is the extent of implementation of the modular distance learning in the different provision of instructional materials, scheduling of teaching loads, delivery of most essential learning competencies, conduct of formative and summative assessment. Number two, what are the performances of the grade 6 learners in modular distance learning during the first quarter when categorized according to learning areas in science, mathematics, English, and Makabayan? Number three, what are the experiences of the curriculum implementers in the delivery of the learning modalities as to challenges encountered, opportunities met, provision of technical assistance, and lesson learned? And number four, based on the results of the study, what can be formulated in terms of policy inputs and curriculum strategic directions? The descriptive method, particularly the quantitative, qualitative, was utilized. A questionnaire was used to measure the extent of implementation of modular distance learning along provision of instructional materials, scheduling of teaching loads, delivery of most essential learning competencies, and conduct of formative and summative assessment and performance of basic learners in the new normal for the quantitative. An open-ended questions were used for the qualitative part along the experiences of the curriculum implementers in the delivery of the learning modalities along challenges encountered, opportunities met, provision of technical assistance, and lesson learned. The questionnaire was crafted by the proponent based from the guidelines of the Department of Education. The questionnaire had undergone expert validation by expert and research, and all the suggestions given by the experts were integrated. Person-product-moment correlation coefficient was used to establish the relationship existing between the extent of implementation of various learning modalities and the performance in terms of learning areas. It was found out that the respondents of the study have an outstanding extent of implementation of modular distance learning all along provision of instructional materials, scheduling of teaching loads, delivery of most essential learning competencies, and conduct of formative and summative assessment. The grade 6 learners have a satisfactory performances in science, mathematics, English, and Makabayan during the first quarter. The experiences of the curriculum implementers in the delivery of the learning modality as to challenges encountered are categorized into three topics such as challenges on parents, challenges on pupils, and challenges on outside factors. Parents struggle in assisting their kids. Parents are not knowledgeable about the lessons. Parents prioritize their source of living. Challenges on pupils, some learners were unable to answer essay type of assessment. Learners cannot understand English and Tagalog instruction. Some learners cannot comprehend the lesson. The learners were not able to answer all the activities. 
and the learners cannot cope with the lessons due to the bulky of activities. On challenges on outside factors, it's hard to visit all the learners due to distance. Houses are very far from school, poor internet signal, monitoring the learners' progress, limited face-to-face -face teaching and learning. Modules given to learners have errors and many activities were given. The teachers as the curriculum implementers of the modular distance learning have the opportunities to build rapport with the parents of the learners and that the learners themselves. Along this opportunity, the teachers were able to know the real situation of the learners and better know the learners' family background through home visitation, have bonding with the learners, parents, and ask how the children perform when they assist in their module. Good rapport between teachers and learners. There is an open communication between the teacher and parents and pupils regarding the delivery of learning modalities and parents' help in facilitating learning of their children. For the enhancement of teaching strategies applicable to modular distance learning, teachers enhance their skills to gather teaching strategies and techniques to implement to reach learners' needs this time of modular distance learning. They gather more applicable strategies and remarkable needs that enhance their learning skills and functional teaching and opportunity to strategize the teaching learning process. The respondents were categorized into two teams like technical assistance provided to learners, technical assistance provided to teachers, and technical assistance provided by the school heads. The curriculum implementers and the delivery of the learning modality, particularly the modular distance learning, were provided with technical assistance by the school heads and district supervisor regarding the modular distance learning. Updates, guidelines, programs, activities, and issues about the learning modality were also given to the teachers. Technical assistance given to teachers, they were able to fulfill their tasks and implement learning amidst the COVID-19 virus. The teachers in Western Kayapa had provided technical assistance to the parents by tutoring them on how to teach and guide their children in answering the lessons on their modules. The teachers had also assisted the parents through phone calls, texting, or using the social media. They had also provided technical assistance to the parents whenever the parents get, a re get or return their modules. The teachers in Western Kayapa had also provided technical assistance to the learners as the center of the educative process. The teachers had provided technical assistance like giving simplified activities based from the result of their scores and observation during home visitation, assisting learners through home visitation or texting, messaging, and provided the assistance to the learners without assistors. The respondents had learned lessons regarding the learners, the teachers, have learned to manage time and study more different strategies to meet the needs of the learners through modular distance learning. Learners must have wide vocabulary power for them to understand their lessons. If learners will strictly follow the homeroom guidance learning schedule in the new normal, they will finish answering their modules on time for teachers to check and record on time. And the MDL is very challenging and it is encourages the teachers to adapt the different situations and issues to provide the needs of the learners. The teachers of Western Kayapa have also learned lessons on monitoring that as teachers, they need to identify their learners who are independent and dependent for easy monitoring since the priority of the teachers in monitoring are those learners who are classified as least, last, and lost. Further, they have also learned that modules must be distributed or returned weekly instead of monthly basis to facilitate checking and monitoring and well-prepared work plan or monitoring plan to monitor learners in answering their modules. Teachers have also learned lessons in building relationship with the learners' parents like strengthening communication to learners and parents. 
The teachers have learned that report is very significant for the success of teaching and learning process, especially this modular distance learning. The lessons learned by the respondents is categorized to values where teachers of Western Kayapa learned that patience is a virtue, impatience and strictness at this pandemic situation should be laid aside, to be always ready on every change we encounter in our teaching career and it takes a whole village to educate a child. For conclusions and recommendations, outstanding extent of implementation of the modular distance learning in the different components, we have to continue monitoring the teachers and learners, satisfactory performances along English, Filipino, Math, Science, and Makabayan, conduct close supervisions to the learners' performance, experiences of the curriculum implementer in the delivery of the learning modalities, Strengthen partnership with parents and continue conducting home visitations and giving technical assistance. And for implementation plan for the policy inputs, curriculum strategic directions is designed. Disseminate the implementation plan for the policy inputs and curriculum strategic directions. Output of the research, the implementation plan, we have here the issues of concerns and problems and the policy inputs or curriculum strategic directions. And we have parents struggling assisting their children, technical assistance be given, lack of knowledge of the parents in guiding their children in prioritizing their source of living. So uh, parents orientation be conducted. Pupils not answering all the activities in the modules and cannot comprehend the lessons. Intensify home visitations to all the learners. Continue monitoring the learners. Simplify the activities for last list and lost learners. Pupils who were not able to answer essay type of assessment, give them simpler activities and more on objective type. Difficulty in visiting all the learners due to distance, set schedule in visiting the learners living in a far places, poor internet signal, look for donor stakeholders who can donate Wi-Fi or wireless internet modem, errors in the module, support to the error watch, learners without assistor, conduct home visitation to assist the learners, or tutorial. For the report on research utilization, when we conducted the district uh, inset at Western Kayapa last July 27 to 29, I presented this research to the participants. I disseminate this research to all the uh, school heads and selected teachers of Western Kayapa district last uh, July 30, 2021 and uh, at Aritao 2 District last October 4, 2021 through online modality. Once again, thank you for listening. I am now ready to listen for your commendations and to answer your questions. God bless everyone.